Are you are you aware of of that one? Yes. And um, there's even more. Maybe uh, perhaps you count. You can comment on that. But I, I want to read a, a few more statistics because the reason I'm doing this is people like you and with your credentials and your years, decades in the field are very different than the young influencer and even young scientist because arguably the science done now seems to be a little bit different. It, it seems as if there's a lot less randomized controlled trials, mm -hmm. uh, a lot less rigor. But these are the statements and headlines that we're seeing. And then here's another one. Colorectal cancer risks increase by 17% per 100 gram of red meat consumed daily, according to another meta-analysis. Do you care to comment on either of those two statements? Because these are uh, quite often quoted. Sure. Um, so the, the last statement about the 17% increase, that comes from the IARC review. And that was the number from the EPIC study the European Prospective Investigation on Cancer. Um, again, 10 years ago, it was standard to do a systematic review and a meta-analysis that wasn't done by the, the IARC staff. Um, but within six months of our meeting, another dose-response systematic review and meta-analysis was published showing that if you're in the highest group of intake of red meat, not, not processed meat, but just red meat, it didn't matter if your highest intake was 20 grams a day or 200 grams a day, you had a similar risk. Meaning the people eating the most had the worst outcome for colon cancer. Mm -hmm. So, But there's a tenfold difference there, and that doesn't seem to matter. 